Hello, Dr. Ng and Dr. Tan. My name is Len Yi Fu, and my FIB title is Video Surveillance Using Deep Learning with Field Data Samples. Without further delay, let's proceed to the project introduction. Nowadays, deep learning based models have achieved human level or beyond human level performance in computer vision. However, deep learning based models require large amount of training data in order to result a good performance model. Large training data requirements may introduce some challenges in video surveillance, such as detect new objects with limited data set provided and changes of illumination levels. If target domain are changed, it is a challenge for the surveillance system to collect enough data in a short period of time to learn to detect the new object categories with good performance. On the other hand, when the illumination level change, how the system can robustly detect the target object is from the same category rather than a new category under the circumstances of data scarcity. Currently, the most popular practice to train a model to detect new objects with few data sets is through transfer learning. However, direct transfer learning is not suitable for object detection. This is because overfitting problem might occur, especially when the data sets are limited, as the object detector is required to learn the optimal parameters for both localizations and classifications. Therefore, the motivation of this project is to study and enhance an approach for a few short object detectors for video surveillance. The main concentrations of the project is to implement and enhance the existing few short object detector for video surveillance. There are three objectives in this project. First objective is to achieve higher mean average precision through data augmentations. Second objective is to achieve higher mean average precision through reweighting module modifications. And the last objective is to achieve higher mean average precision through both data augmentations and everything module modifications. The proposed study is based on the few short object detector via feature rating framework. The framework is having a light network known as rating modules for class specific rating coefficient to reweight the feature from feature extractor to detect the objects. Enhancements are done through by adding a data augmentation pipeline for input to generate high diversity data and also modifying the existing rating modules to capture more rating information. The performance of the detector is improved after the adjustment adjustments are made. We can see that the improvements of data augmentations is higher than the rating module modifications. But the combinations of both adjustments will further improve the performance of the detector. The results of this project is not only applicable within video surveillance but as well as other detect object detection fields where the training data is limited, such as the manufacturing industry and medical imaging. Next, I will proceed to Chapter 2 Research Review on few short object detections we are rewriting. This is a meta learning framework for low short object detector. In general, the framework consists of two main modules feature extractor and meta modules, which is also known as the rewriting modules. The backbones of the feature extractor modules is a Yolo V2 detector 
to abstract basics to intermediate features, representations, whereas Meta Models is a night read network for generating and rating coefficients, where n represent the numbers of classes for detections. The rating coefficients will be used to perform gender-wise modifications with the features extract from the feature extractor through one times one convolutions. Therefore, there are totals and related features where each related feature represents a class. For example, first related features represent person class, the second related feature represent cat class, and the last related feature represent motorbike class. Next, let's look how the predictions layer works under this framework. The dimensions of the rated features is m times w times h times a times phi plus c, where n is the numbers of the rated features, which also represent the number of class for detections. W and H are the width and height of the receptive field of the uh, weighted features. N represents the number of anchor boxes in each grid cells for object detections. 5 represents the bounding box parameters and objectness score. Lastly, C represents the class score. Since the number of classes for detections is represented by n, therefore the values of C will be equal to 1. In other words, there are only one class score predicted in each prediction vector. For example, this n pink prediction vector represent the first anchor box prediction value at the first grid cells amongst all the n weighted features. The softmax normalization is applied to the class core among those n vectors if the class score from the person class features is the highest, then the object in the first anchor box at the first grid cells will be the person class. This also means that the softmax normalized class score from each prediction vector represents the likelihood of the object to the corresponding classes. There are a total W times H times A prediction vectors are made for each N related features. The training is divided into two phases, phase one trainings and phase two trainings. In phase one training, a large set of bay classes annotated images are used to train the feature extractor to extract a basic to intimate feature representations. In second phase training, new class images are supplied into the model to train to detect the new objects. In second phase training, few short learnings will be implemented. One, two, three, five, or ten images per class, per n class, are provided for fine tuning. The n classes include base class and the new classes.
these are TNST visualizations of derivative coefficients. From the visualizations, we can observe that similar classes are tend to cluster together. For example, four lit animal classes, sheep, horse, cow, cat, and dog, are close to each other at the bottom right of the diagram. Train, bus, and car are clustered at the middle tops of the diagram. Therefore, we can see that the reading module is learning some useful information to repeat the features from feature extractor. Next, I will proceed to system design. Three techniques include field short learning via ratings, reading module modifications, and data augmentations will be covered in this chapter. The feature extractor module is in this framework is Yolo V2 Networked. Layer the things of these architectures is a dynamic composition layer which will be integrated which will be derived by the reading coefficients. The output of this network is the dims times the dims times thirty. The thirty is equal to the bounding box parameters, objectness score, a number of class score times the number of anchor boxes. Where the number of anchor boxes is equal to five and the number of class score is equal to one. This is where the thing comes in. The number of classes detected is one because each and related feature will represent a class. Next is the ratings module modifications. The original shapes of the rating coefficients is one times one, which is generated by a global maximum layer at the final layer. However, having a global maximum layer at the final layer may lead to loss of class specific information, especially in few short ending where the new object data set is limited. Therefore, instead of having a 1 times 1 reading coefficients, the reading module is modified to generate the rating coefficients which have the same size as the meta features from the feature extractor. The readings will be done through pixels-wise modifications instead of channel-wise modifications. The readings module is a light network for generating the rating coefficients. The input channels for layer 0 is 4 because there are three channels for RGB an extra channel for must objects for better object detection in future learning. As we can see, the output ch channels, the output size of the rating modules is same as the input size of the layer 13 from the feature extractor. The output vectors from the readings module will be used to read the input features in layer 13 in feature extractor. Next is data augmentations. In general, there are two types of data augmentation performed. Firstly, the basics data augmentations are horizontal fleet, scaling, Notations, sharing, translations, and color detail. These augmentation operations are performed randomly 
according to the value set in the setting tables. Current jitter is applied to reduce the innovation level problem discussed in the challenges of media surveillance in chapter 1. The other types of augmentation is combined augmentations. Combined augmentations is the operation that perform several basic data augmentations sequentially. In this case, the basic augmentations performed in combined augmentations are horizontal fleet, scaling, translations, and color jitter. Data augmentations is applied to diversify the unknown date images of future learnings in phase 2 training. This slide shows the samples from data augmentations operations. The original image is augmented with operations of random horizontal flip, random scaling, random rotations, random sharing, random translation, random character, and lastly, combined augmentations. Next, I will explain the data presentation preparations for this project. Pascal VOC dataset will be used for this project because of adequate amounts of object classes for detections and performance analysis. Training and validation sets from 2000, VOC 2007 and 2012 are combined for trainings. Whereas the testing set from VOC 2007 is used for testing and evaluations. The base classes and new classes are split according to the tables below. But bus, count, motorbike so far will be the new class for phase 2 training, whereas the remaining classes will be the base class for phase 1 training. In summary, the few shot detector via feature ratings is implemented and enhanced for video surveillance. The improvement are done through by adding a data augmentation pipeline before phase 2 training to diversify the inner data images and the modifications of the ratings modules to prevent excessive class specific information loss. Chapter 4 will cover the performance analysis from the enhancements. Before that, several baselines are compared with the results in this project. Yolo Joints is a Yolo V2 detector that trends on both base and new classes together under 1, 2, 3, 5 or 10 short learning. Yolo FT is a Yolo V2 detector with two phases training but without revising modules and also without fully converge. Without fully converge in that the training iterations is the same as the iterations of few short detector via feature rating. Yolo FT full is Yolo V2 detector with two phases training and fully converge but without the rating modules. Before proceed before proceed, I would like to briefly explain the LSTD framework. LSTD framework combines both SSD and faster RCNNs to achieve better transferring in object detections. SSD is used to generate the multi-scale feature maps for region proposals in RPN of faster RCNN. Then the, the object classifications will be performed by the faster RCNN heat. This framework introduced two regularizations. 
background dispersions, regularizations to suppress the response from the background in feature maps, and also the transfer knowledge regularizations to enhance knowledge transfer from source domain object to target domain objects. After a brief introduction on LSTD, we can proceed to the remaining baseline. The LSTD YOLO is a LSTD framework with YOLO V2 as the backbone network without fully converged. Lastly, LSTD YOLO full is LSTD framework with YOLO V2 as backbone network that fully converge. This table shows the baseline performance and the improvements. The units of the values in the tables is mean average positions. 1, 2, 3, 5 or short or 10 shots mean that the number of images per class provided for phase 2 training. We can observe that the improvements are consistent across all shots the needs on the adjustments meet. By comparing the improvements of both data augmentations and modified ratings modules, we can see that the improvements of data augmentations is higher than the improvement of the modified rating modules. However, the combinations of both data augmentations and modified ratings modules will further improve the performance of the few short detectors. Compared to the improvements of data augmentations or modified rating modules alone. This table shows the average improvements of the adjustment meet. The calculations is done by the formula below. The improvements are summed across all short learnings and divided by the total number of short. The highest average improvement is the combinations of data augmentations and modified revealing modules, which is a 2.22 mean average positions, followed by data augmentations, which is 1.66 mean average positions, and lastly, modified revealing module. 1.24 mean average position. The following slides will show the detections before phase 2 fine tuning and after phase 2 fine tuning on new objects. Before phase 2 fine tuning, no bus and no count object are detected, but after fine tuning, bus and of the counts objects are detected. Before fine tuning, the models misclassify the birds as person, but after fine tuning, both birds are detected. Before fine tuning, only person class is detected, but after fine tuning, both persons and modified class are detected. Lastly, before fine tuning, parts of SOVA is classified as chair. Because chair and SOVA share the highest similarity among the base classes, after fine tuning, the SOVA is detected. In this chapter, discussion and future works will be covered. Data augmentations improve the performance by an average of 1.66 mean average positions, whereas the modified related modules improve the performance by an average of 1.24 mean average positions. However, 
The combinations of both improved the performance by an average of 2.22 mean average precision. The reason behind the improvements are due to the increases of data diversity through augmentation operations and the modified rewriting modules is able to retain more class specific information. In future works, several improvement ideas will be attempted. Firstly, the improvements will be attempted on designing a more compact and meaningful loss functions, specifically for object detection field shard learning. Second idea is to apply other data augmentation techniques as the data augmentation techniques applied in this project are relatively simple and the diversity of the augmented data is limited. Therefore, the data augmentations with generative adversarial network will be attempted. Lastly, the improvement will be sought through by modifying the whole architectures for better new class feature learning in fine tuning. With that, I have finished the project presentations. Thank you for listening.